Hey guys, thanks for checking out my Katy Perry rocker inspired makeup tutorial. Uh, this is the finished look. It's what I came up with. The lips are a little bit off. I didn't have quite the right color, so just excuse that, but hopefully you like it and keep on watching if you're interested. Alright, so to start off this look, I've already applied my foundation and concealer, and I used the same method that I did in my last Katy Perry tutorial, so if you want to know how to do that, I will put the link down there so you can just click on it and watch that if you're interested. Um, so we're going to start with the eyes, of course, and I'm going to use the same thing as well, the Maybelline Color Tattoo um, Eyeshadow. It's like a cream eyeshadow, and this is in um, Gilded, I think. Let me see. Oh, sorry. Barely Branded is the color. So I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid as the base. I'm going to start with kind of just a regular eyeshadow brush and then we're going to use another brush to kind of um, make it a little more defined in the crease area. So you just want to pat that on your eyelid. And just take it right up to the crease. Okay, so now I'm going to use that same brush and just use kind of the tip of it and get a little bit more of the color because she kind of has this little wing almost that comes out with the shadow. So I'm just going to create that. So just kind of like that. Okay, now I'm taking my tapered crease brush. I'm just going to get a touch more of the color. And I'm going to blend that into the crease. Okay, so for the first eyeshadow color, you want to pick a dark gray or a black, um, preferably matte. This is MAC Typographic. Okay, so just clean that brush off a little bit on your hand and then take a light brown matte eyeshadow. This is from the Revlon Color State uh, Quad in Attitude. So it's just that color there. And we're going to take this right above the black. Just a little bit of it. No, I actually want to use a bigger brush. <laughs> Let me use this one. So I place that color and then I'm just going to blend it out with this. I always like a touch of brown with black. I think it makes it a little bit more wearable. Okay, so next I'm going to take a bit of Urban Decay Strip, which is a nice shimmery silver. 
with a flat eyeliner brush and this is going to go underneath the eye okay and then I'm just going to wipe that off again and use some more of the black or the dark gray the typographic and I'm just going to go right on top of that with this liner And you're going to go all the way into the inner corner. Okay, and I'm going to blend that a little bit just so it doesn't look quite as even. <laughs> Sorry, I know I make weird faces when I put eyeliner on, <laughs> or mascara, or false lashes, <laughs> pretty much anything. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Mm, kind of a little bit more black. Oh, we'll get there with the mascara. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm just going to use a black, and this is, once again, the NYX slide-on pencil, and I'm just going to actually tight line, so that's going into the base of the eyelashes, um, almost your inner waterline or your upper waterline, but not quite because that's just going to smear on the bottom and that's not really in the look. So you want to get it just right into the, the base of your eyelashes. So I will do that and then um, it's definitely optional if you want to put false lashes on. Um, she definitely, I mean I'm sure she has some on but it's not like really obvious so I'm just going to go ahead and apply a bunch of mascara. Um, I'm using the Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara because it really adds a lot of mascara to my lashes which will make my lashes very large. So um, yeah, just it's totally up to you where, whatever you want to do. So so I'm going to do those two things and then I will put um, some stuff on my eyebrows and then the eyes will be done so I'll come back and show you the cheeks and the lips. Alright, so while you were away, I went ahead and actually applied some eyeliner on the top um, as well. Just a little bit. I kind of smudged it on and then I used my flat eyeliner brush to just blend it out. And honestly, the goal in this look is not perfection. It's kind of cool if it's a little bit funky, a little bit off, because this is like rocker chick. This isn't like pretty you know, preppy kind of look. This is a little more intense. So it's okay if something is a little bit off or uneven. Um, it just kind of adds to the look, I think. So anyway, uh, on with that, our eyes are finished and cheeks. Um, basically, we're just going to use a blush and a highlight. So with the blush, um, she definitely has it very obviously like contouring. So I'm going to try to do that. Once again, I don't have much in the way of cheekbones, so it tends to look a little bit different on me than it would on someone that does have more defined um, cheekbones. But I'm using Lorac Soul Blush, which I will show you. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm going to just basically suck in, and once again, you won't be able to really see anything, but, and I'm gonna use my small uh, blush brush because I can kind of control the um, application better. So I'm just gonna kind of go in right here this is like a little line. I know it looks weird. This is how she has it. <laughs> this is photography we're talking about, not everyday wear. Okay, so it does look like a line right now. Um, so we are going to blend it a bit, but we just want to place the color first. Okay, now I'm going to put the highlighter on, different brush, so we don't get it all over. And really we're just going to go in right here on the cheekbone kind of, and then up along that area. Okay, so now I kind of brush that off and just go in and lightly blend over that blush maybe more than lightly, depending on how uh, hard to blend your blush is. <laughs> okay, I think I'm happy with that. That's pretty close. 
Okay, so that's that. And then for lips, this is probably kind of predictable, but this is what we're gonna do. Um, I don't, once again, have, well, let me check what I have here. I'm pretty sure I don't have something that light. So we're gonna improvise. Um, and I'm gonna use the MAC Girl About Town, which is definitely a very classic kind of Katy Perry lipstick. Um, as you can tell, it's a lot brighter than the picture. Hers is definitely more like muted, kind of purpley, very purpley pink. But I'm gonna use a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna top it off with this Bare Minerals Buxom Lips in Lily, um, because this is really the color we're, we're wanting. Um, so hopefully it will kind of change it a little bit. I'm not really sure, I haven't tried it yet. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I guess you could watch, it's not that big of a deal, as if it was a secret. <laughs> but I'm just going to just kind of press this in. The lip gloss on top. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's a good color. Yeah, so we'll just pretend she has brighter lipstick than she really does. <laughs> or maybe they kind of muted the colors to make it look cooler. I don't know. Sorry, I gotta touch this up a little bit. All right. I think we're pretty close here. So um, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Don't look at my hair, it's really nasty. I mean, nasty as in it looks bad right now. Um, I'm gonna fix it for the pictures and hopefully it turns out better. But yeah, so this is gonna be the finished um, Katy Perry kind of rocker chick makeup look. I don't even know, like this is pretty subtle I guess for a rocker chick look, but it's still something that you could wear um, out at night or you know, whatever you wanna do. So anyway, thank you for watching this video guys and keep checking back for more. I will be coming up with more Katy Perry, more other looks as well. Um, yeah, so I appreciate it and I will talk to you soon. Bye.